Hey guys, Master Negan here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkob battle video. Yes, that's right. Today, the news, it comes and it don't stop coming. So, uh, thanks to the global maintenance finally being over, uh, shout out to Air Dokon for posting some of the uh, stuff that has been found in the files. So, it seems like with this update, uh, stuff has been added into the files for what is called the costume update or like the visual change details. Now this is something that was data mined on JP a little bit before the anniversary and we didn't really know what this was going to be and then this developed into being the revival skill system. So this means that all the information for the revival skill system is now in the files including this. Let's uh, we haven't got sound we don't have the sound for it but let me full screen this bad boy. So this is in the files now. So of course, if you've seen clips from the JP, like gameplay, that is the screen that you get when you get KO'd, but you have a unit on rotation whose revival skill is active and ready to go. So the whole point of this video is this comment right here from I Seriously, who is another data miner. Um, obviously, this isn't him confirming anything, but it says, I'm almost sure the Saiyan Day Dokkon Fest will have that costume functionality. That's why they pushed version 4.14.3. Uh, now, good old Nemo over here, one of my boys from 5.9, does say, isn't this what happened last year, though? They added a bunch of files for the anniversary units. But something that we have to bear in mind is that the new mechanics that have been added for the anniversary have come early on global every single year so for the three year uh, transformations as they exist today were added into the game with lr physical gogeta and int vegeto and then on global the int ui goku got his awakening that came with the transformation to mastered ui when you drop below 50 percent hp that came to global before the three year anniversary then the four year brought active skills uh, and then global got the Go Bros as a global first before the four year anniversary and they had an active skill. Um, and then I think Broly came out not long afterwards for global as well. And he has an active skill. Um, the five year, I guess they didn't really bring out a new mechanic. The five year was the uh, like skill orbs and stuff like that, right? So the six year, the new mechanic, of course, is the revival skill. So the three main units that we have in the game now are the anniversary headliner LRs, the UI Goku and the Blue Evolution Vegeta. And then, of course, they did release the LR Roshi that once he's all fully awakened and easy aid has a revival skill as well. And they do vary in like the difficulty of how to get them uh, for Goku, for example. Um, you have to have been attacked three times, well, receive an attack three times, and then uh, be, was it, below 50% HP. But this is, three attacks doesn't sound like a lot, but Goku has a, uh, was it 70% chance to dodge? So he, uh, getting hit three times is kind of difficult. And then Vegeta, who doesn't have a built-in dodge, you have to get hit seven times, which is not as bad, especially for longer events. Uh, short form events, if they're not stacked up in one slot, that can be a little bit more difficult. And then Roshi probably has the easiest one out of all of them. Um, again, HP 50% or less when entering the turn, and there are another two or more Turtle School allies on the team, which is very easy to do on uh, a lot of the teams that you're going to be building him uh, around. So... Yeah, those are the three units that we have at the moment. Uh, no new unit has been added since that anniversary on JP. The new Dokkon Fest on JP is, of course, the Super Saiyan, Goten, and Trunks. And they do have a unit super attack, which hasn't returned for a little while. But no other units have the uh, awakening ability as of yet. Oh, sorry, the re revival ability. So, it does seem very likely that the uh, revival ability is going to come to... Both versions for Saiyan Day, which of course will mean that this is the very first unit to have this ability on Global. And uh, this is something that is really hype because it doesn't really give anything away, but it certainly adds a little bit more like interesting speculation to what the Saiyan Day unit is going to be. Because there's been some speculation that we could be getting a new God Goku um, because of the... Um, app icon update that some information was posted about that a little while ago and something that I talked about on the podcast that I really really want to see is a Super Saiyan God Goku 
um, who drops down into base and then his revival skill could be the scene from the movie where he does the thing where he screams the like I will not let you destroy my world and powers up to Super Saiyan like that as a revival skill would be awesome um, I would kind of like to see that just as an active skill so you could get to see it more often I guess but that as a revival skill would work perfectly um, a lot of people obviously have been memeing about because we just got Goten and Trunks on JP that the Saiyan Day unit could be a bio Broly, which <laughs> I don't know about that because uh, I don't know. He would really probably wouldn't have some kind of revival skill, right? But um, yeah, this opens up a lot of interesting possibilities for what the Saiyan Day unit could be. Um, again, just like Dr. Nemo pointed out, it could just be that they've added this stuff all into the files now and it doesn't necessarily mean anything. But in terms of speculating on what is going to come for Saiyan Day, this is obviously massively hype news. And uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what this is going to be. Um... Uh, the other thing that probably is worth mentioning as well is that the costume uh, or the visual change thing is directly tied to the revival mechanic but I don't think it is exactly specifically the same thing because one of the things that it can be in direct reference to is this effect for the Vegeta where his character sprite and the card art changes after you do the, um, the big uh, final explosion. Um, so potentially this could mean that the Saiyan Day unit for global, or for both versions, um, doesn't have a revival skill, but maybe they have an active skill that changes their character sprite, right? Because the character could already have a transformation, like let's say it is, uh, God Goku who transforms, or maybe Super Saiyan Goku transforms into God Goku. He could have an active skill where you power up. Um, and then he transforms into the state where his gi is all ripped or like the whole top half is missing, that kind of thing. So that is one thing to keep in mind that this could be tied just to the character sprite and the card art, like the actual costume feature rather than actually being the revival mechanic. But obviously the main point that I wanted to get across is, like I said, these big anniversary mechanics seem to always come to global early. So that is definitely something that could potentially be in the pipeline uh, plus another tweet that we've got here from uh, air dokon is about the uh, support memory stuff being added into the files now this isn't like a mechanic that's specific to a unit this is the same kind of thing as like skill orbs and stuff like that so i wouldn't expect this to come early to global i feel like this is something that's just being put into the files now uh, ahead of time but this is very interesting because obviously I guess the way it's going to work because Saiyan Day is on both versions at the same time. I guess that means it's unlikely that they're going to add a new support memory for Saiyan Day. Um, because if they do it will only be available on JP only unless they do add that full system in for Saiyan Day. But I think that's unlikely. I guess they could add a new support memory and it only be available on JP and then obviously once we get the support memory function during the anniversary then the Saiyan Day one would just be available straight away because obviously we've already gone past Saiyan Day on global so I mean they've done stuff like that before obviously last year I think it was last year for Saiyan Day um, JP got new Super Battle Road stages and global didn't and that is something that I kind of I'm assuming that that's going to happen this time as well. Like, I think Global's finally going to get the first 10 extreme category stages for Super Battle Road. And then JP's probably going to get a new set of 10 stages for Super Battle Road. Because that's always the way. Uh, good old Global. But either way, it'll be interesting to have uh, those things. So that is an extra little thing that is uh, being added into the files. The support memory stuff. But again, I don't think that's going to have much bearing on what's going to be happening for Saiyan Day. Okay, well, there you go. So, Dokon continuing to uh, give us these crazy updates, lots of news, lots to speculate on. Let me know what you think down below this potentially means for Global and for Saiyan Day in general. And uh, yeah, Dokon stays winning. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.